Hey everyone, um, welcome Ashley. I cannot wait for all of you to meet my friend Ashley and hear her story and hear about an incredible project that she has launched um, that many of you have already connected to. And I'm excited for others of us who haven't heard of Project WOW to get connected. But um, before we dive into all of that, I would love to just hear, who's Ashley? <laughs> who's Ashley? Oh gosh, hi everyone. Uh, <laughs> My name is Ashley, and uh, I am uh, married to a Jamaican. I guess I can start with that for six years. Um, and he's incredible. We have a, a dog baby. I like to call him. <laughs> His name's Oreo. And um, and I'm actually pregnant almost seven months right now, expecting a baby. My first baby, which is, ah, crazy. <laughs> oh, wow. Uh, yeah, but super excited about that. Um, and I'm also, I've been, uh, leading worship for, uh, over 10 years now and, um, was a worship pastor at my, my church, Christ Church of the Valley, um, for six years. And I just transitioned last year into associate women's pastor role. Um, so kind of navigating that and, and figuring out how to deal with all the crazy women out there, you know, <laughs> uh, which is fun. And, um, yeah, I live in Southern California, about 40 minutes outside of LA. Awesome. So that's Ashley. That is awesome. I love it. Thank you, Ashley. And, you know, I would love for you to share, um, with the women watching what your story is. Um, so who, who, what has made Ashley who she is today? Yeah, um, I always like to to start off because people nowadays know me as a musician and a worship leader, um, but growing up, I was actually um, a sports girl, like totally played volleyball, basketball, track in high school, um, played basketball in college as well, and so that was kind of my identity growing up, um, was totally into sports, did choir too, was into music, but just loved sports so much. Um, and so God uh, definitely had a different journey in mind for me. Um, and so when I got to college and I was playing basketball, um, I just missed music so much uh, when I got into that. And so um, after the first year of playing, I ended up stopping playing basketball and went into uh, music. And I started writing original coffee shop folk music is what I got into at first. And <laughs> it was like my creative outlet loved writing songs and um, started doing that, but I hated singing in front of people, hated talking in front of people, which is hilarious. <laughs> um, and so I, I was like, no, uh, I don't, I don't want to do this, but I love writing music. So I had my friend come along and she would lead the songs. She would sing the songs that I wrote and I would play guitar and sing backup. Um, and so <laughs> that was kind of how I started out. And then all of a sudden she quit on me one day and I was like, well, I guess that's the end of my coffee shop career and I'm no longer going to be doing it. <laughs> um, but then my awesome dad, and I was dating my husband at the time, who's also a musician. He was like, hey, if you do three shows on your own at coffee shops, um, you know, I'll give you guys a date night for each show that you play. And I will buy Lance, who's my now husband, a cajon, which is like a box drum. Uh, and I was like, are you kidding me? I can't get out of this now. And so, and so uh, I ended up doing that. And the first show I remember I was like shaking. I was like, no, I, I do not like doing this, singing my own songs. No, thanks. But I got through it. And then I got through the second show, got through the third show. And each time it got a little bit easier. And even though they were super uncomfortable moments, uh, I got through them. And so about the same time, I started getting involved in uh, my church, Christ Church of the Valley. And um, I started interning as the, the worship intern. And same kind of thing. I wasn't the main worship leader because I didn't like being in front of people. But I was on the team, kind of doing the behind the scenes things and um, learning what it meant to be a worship leader. And, um, and God just one step after another. One, and I like to say, one uncomfortable step after another. I felt like that's been my journey. Yeah. Um, God just kept stretching me, stretching me. And I eventually got offered a position at my church as a worship leader, starting one of our campuses. Um, wow. And then about a year later, they pulled me over to the main campus. And uh, for six years, I was the worship pastor over there. So, um, wow. so yeah, it was, it was a crazy, 
crazy journey. And I, it's funny because I, I majored in business and I was like, that's what I want to do. And God had a completely <laughs> yep. different path for me. Um, something that I never would have chosen for myself because I never growing up said, I want to be a worship leader. Yeah. Um, it was always something different. So um, it's, it was definitely God ordained path and journey. Wow. Um, That's so that. cool. Yeah. That's so cool. And I love how, mm. you know, I actually, I didn't know that story about you, which is incredible to see where you started and how God really stretched and grew you and how you've become this incredible worship leader now who is also passionate about helping other female worship leaders, um, which has kind of led to where you and I first connected when I heard about Project WOW and all that you were doing. So, you know, share with us a little bit about what Project WOW is, your journey, your heart with Project WOW, how women can connect. Um, just share, share a little bit about that. Yeah, of course. I'd love to. Um, yeah, Project WOW kind of was birthed out of my journey as a worship leader. And I wrote this blog a couple years ago, and it was titled, Being a Female Worship Leader is Hard. And um, and I was just writing it for maybe, you know, the two people that would read it. And I was like, God, I hope this helps them. <laughs> yeah. um, and so I wrote it, and I was overwhelmed with the response um, from other women in worship from all over the country and the world. And in the blog, I talked about a few things. I talked about being the first full-time female worship leader hired at my church. Um, and that was a huge step for my church at the time. And it took a long time to get buy-in. And so I was, you know, the journey of dealing with that, um, also being in a department of all dudes, uh, was <laughs> a challenge. <laughs> um, thankfully I feel like God's gifted me with getting along with guys. Okay. But it is, <laughs> different working right. with guys than it is with girls, of course. Um, and so navigating that. And then also um, just the lack of resources available for females versus males. Those are some of the things that I was encountering. And so um, when I put that out there in writing for the world, I just got this huge response back and was just like, oh my gosh, so many other women in worship are dealing with the same thing and it's not being talked about. Yeah. And so that's when I um, really felt the calling from God to help these other women and be a resource for these other women. At the time, I didn't know what it was going to look like. I just got this little dream in my head and was like, I need to do this. I feel called by God to do this, but I don't know what it's going to look like. So then I just started talking to other women who were worship leaders and meeting people from all over the country and world. And it was incredible um, that season because I was just asking them, hey, what are you dealing with in your situation and getting kind of the heartbeat yeah. um, behind that. And so in June of last year, yeah, it's only been wow. six months. <laughs> wow. We launched Project WOW, um, projectwow.org and, uh, and Project WOW, uh, to put it in a, sh in a nutshell, exists to promote conversation, community, and resources for women in worship. And so when it launched, we got um, a huge response, which was awesome. And and um, we're just continuing to, to try and be a resource for these women who might feel alone in their journey um, and just get this conversation started on how we can um, continue to help and be a community for them. Yeah, absolutely. So I, incredible. Yeah. I love it. And I mean, ironic part is I'm not a female worship leader. I probably would get paid to not sing at all. Uh, <laughs> um, <laughs> but, make a noise. That's all you need. Yes. yes. <laughs> <laughs> but the, from the moment that I saw um, what Project WOW is all about, I... I mean, was completely bought in. And I have a lot of friends who are female worship leaders. And so as they've been tapping into Project WOW and really learning from um, the resources you provide and connecting with the community that you're building, I mean, I've already seen a difference happening in and through them as they lead worship. So that's been really fun um, to see. And anytime, you know, women are empowering and encouraging each other, like I'm all about that. Yeah. So I love it. Um, but you know, if you were sitting across from another woman on her own becoming journey, having, you know, a cup of coffee, like what we've been doing and just chatting, um, what would you say to encourage her? Yeah. Um, oh man, the thing for me, uh, I would want to tell you to not be afraid of the uncomfortable 
and the unknown uh, because that's where God stretches you the most. And it's in those moments that God is molding and making you into the woman that he's called you to. Um, so I would just encourage you take that bold step, walk through your fear, be brave. And, um, and honestly, you can do anything through Christ who gives you strength. And so be bold and don't be afraid. Yeah. I love that. I love it. I love it. That is so good. Um, I love that. Thank you. Thank you for sharing your story, um, your journey, what makes you who you are. And then, um, I'm encouraged to see how you've taken your journey and now you're pouring out and you're encouraging so many other women um, as well. That's just truly inspiring. And um, I know so many women will be excited to connect. So we have in the um, post with this video, all of the connection links for Project Wow. If you would like to get connected with Ashley and her team, um, so make sure you click the links, connect with Ashley, follow her on social media, follow Project Wow. Um, get connected. And uh, thank you, Ashley. I so appreciate it. Of course. Thanks so much for having me. Absolutely. <laughs>